Hey guys, my name is Mohan Pober and I want to share with you four reasons on why your business should never be dependent on one product, customer, supplier or employee. The first one is expensive customer acquisition cost. Your burn rate is going to go up in the next few months, guys, because the biggest companies out there, they're coming online, which means your cost to acquire a customer is going to be much higher, which means your profitability on a deal, on a customer will be much lower, if any, in the short or long term. So that's the first reason, guys. The cost to acquire customers right now is so high. So you got to make sure you're not dependent on just one customer or just growing one customer at a time. The second thing is about scarcity. If your business is dependent on one product, customer, supplier or employee, you're going to be in a scarcity mode. You know that you're basically dependent on them and you're going to act with a lot of stress and you'll be nervous and that's the last thing you want to have in a business. Yes, good stress is okay, but when you know that your best employee can leave you tomorrow and you have no business, you're done, or your best customer will leave you tomorrow and you're done, or your best supplier, or you just depend on just one product that can basically change every day with the market that's ups and downs. Um, when you're dependent on that, you'll be in a scarcity mode and that's the last way you want to operate business. The third thing is just about zero buy-in. By that, I mean, if your business is dependent on just one or a few, for example, suppliers, they will have the power. They won't do everything they can to keep your business because they will know that you're dependent on them as well. You will pay them whatever they want. You'll have a bet. Uh, you won't have any strategic advance in your negotiation with them because you're dependent on them. And same goes with everything. But like I said, with one customer, one supplier or one employee as well. And the fourth reason is just it's slow growth. I don't care how good you think your product is or how good you think your marketing is. If you're growing one client at a time, and you're depending on just one of those things, it's just too slow. It's not just too slow, it's just too expensive to go out there, test different advertising platform, to hire one person at a time, to create new products, one product at a time. It's just too expensive and too slow to grow that way. So how do you do it better? The best thing and the main thing you gotta do is you gotta think like, you gotta start thinking like the big guys. You gotta start thinking like Facebook, you gotta start thinking like Google and the best and different things that they're doing that you probably don't is that they're doing deals and they have access to capital. Yes, they're a public company, but you can do the same with just a small private company as well. When you do deals and you have access to capitals, that's where you can grow really fast, especially when you're a small business. You can grow, not, I'm not talking about 10, 20, 30% a year. I'm talking about 100, 200, 300% a year by doing just one deal. You can grow 200% a year by doing one deal at a time, like literally. So that's the growth I'm talking about when you have access to capital and you're able to do deals. And by deals, I'm talking about buying competitors, buying complementary businesses, doing strategic relationships with those businesses. And that's the reason that you see Facebook buying companies like WhatsApp or Instagram. And that's why Google bought YouTube. And that's why Apple is doing deals with Nike and Starbucks is doing deals with Oprah. Those are the type of deals that you want to do as well. And obviously, the more access to capital you have to do those deals, the better. But the beauty is that it's not you don't need it to be your own capital. You can use it you can leverage OPM, other people money. When you do those deals, you get access to basically years worth of testing and experimenting and hiring and processes. Because when you buy a business, you're not just buying its revenues and its cash flow and its profit, you're buying its customers, their suppliers, their products or services and their talent. And heck, if then they have like other, um, some proprietary thing like technology, deep technology or anything that really is an asset in their business, you get access to it immediately and you can literally double your business worth in, in an afternoon. Because the moment you close the deal and you sign the, the sales and purchase agreement, you just now literally can double your revenues in just one, doing just one deal. The big guys, Facebook, Amazon, all those public companies, they're basically leverage OPM. They leverage in OPM using the public market uh, capital, right? You can do the same with using financial institutions that will help you to do those deals, even if there are small deals. And even if you're buying like just a small seven figure business, you can do that with, I guess, similar resources to what Facebook and Amazon have, but you can do it in a smaller scale and that way grow much faster. I call it the deals and capital paradigm. Before you have that, it's really hard to grow and that's why most businesses fail. Um, most businesses, they try to bootstrap, they try to grow one client at a time, they, they, they try to basically recycle their cash flows, they sometimes even take some other like service type works on the side just to have some cash flow to 
to sustain their product, which is the last thing you want. So please don't believe the hype of bootstrapping, of growing slow. In order to grow a big sustainable business, you must have access to capital. And that's the best way to, to grow fast in order for you to serve people and impact the world the way you want. Because yes, you will make a lot of money, but it's not just about the money. It's about the impact and the service and, and the support and the help that you can bring other people and change the world. That way. So please, if you listen to this, stop praying for another customer, another employee, or pray for creating a better product. Go out there, start to do deals, raise capital and grow fast. That's the best way for you to grow.